Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today I'll be reviewing a rather obscured film titled From China with Death. This is of course a Kung Fu movie. And of course I always like to learn about some of the films I'll be reviewing about. But that's the thing. Uh, looking up information for this particular Kung Fu movie was hard to do because I couldn't really find much dirt in this film, like hardly anything, like at all. Couldn't really find anything about this movie, like pretty much nothing at all. I, I mean, I do like doing research anyway with any obscured film I review, but something like this came up, I found it kind of odd. I mean, I, I am reviewing an Asian film, sure, but what? I don't get it. Uh, it's something about this individual came up as well. That was kind of odd, I guess. And then this also came up. I guess because he has the word death in his title, I guess. And then uh, this guy. I don't even know who that is. I didn't even know who that was even before I thought of this review. What the hell? And then some, you know, agent, agent stuff. Maybe statues or whatever. So... Seems kind of random. All this seems season random. So okay. Seems what? Huh? Yeah, I couldn't really find anything about this film really. Yeah, of course there's gonna be the American version. Uh, I I'm not even sure if it was ever released on Blu-ray. I highly doubt if it did. But anyway. That's the thing, folks. As always, I do have a top of the plot, so I guess let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go. So of course, there's gonna be some crazy stuff going on. Of course, can, this movie takes place in an ancient Asian place, of course, like a good chunk of these movies do. It takes central stage as these two individuals get in and out of trouble using kung fu, of course. So. We can see that our main character in this film does have a heart of gold, so to speak. And I guess you could say that there's this character that is this traveling con man that adopt, did a, I guess you could say, a this kung fu and runs into this womanizing thief individual. They, in some ways, they do conspire to steal this shipment from the crooked banker and under the nose of the local crime boss of course and and after that what follows is a some crazy wild movie of course so this one wasn't too bad of course folks yeah i'm talking about something that's really obscured of course which i don't mind really and i can say that this movie is it has moments of course i guess my i think my favorite part of the movie it's towards the end. Towards the end of the movie is pretty crazy in his own little way. I did like the story, I suppose. The story wasn't too bad. So I can say that this film is definitely a pretty crazy movie in his own little way. So, if you don't mind the fact that this film is, 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 isn't dubbed, I'll say check it out. This is actually a public domain movie. So... I say check this movie out if you haven't seen it yet because you, you can actually look this movie up in on YouTube if you want. Like I said, it's a public domain movie. The copyright license had it has expired. So I guess you can say you can check it out if you want. Because it's it's not that bad of a movie really. But the only my only real complaint about this film is that the dubbing was pretty bad. I d I don't like the dubbing really. It is it is the dubbing, the English dubbing is pretty awful. I mean, it's not the worst dubbing I've heard, but I still didn't like the dubbing overall. I just kind of wish it more effort would be placing these dubs or these movies. But whatever, I suppose. Like I said, before they renewed the copyright license for this movie, I'll say check it out on YouTube, or you can just buy it on a, on a store. You can actually find this movie on stores, or you can find it on eBay, or maybe... Or my Amazon, you find it there. But yeah, there's not that many people reviewing this movie, actually. But 
So I guess I'll, I'll just review this film because I like talking about stuff that hardly anyone would talk about really. But anyway, so I can't really talk about the, I guess the voice acting really because it's not that great. Uh, for dialogue, I can't really say the dialogue for this isn't really, I can't really say if the dialogue is really good because I don't think the dialogue in this film, uh, the way they spoke in this movie, it was exactly how the original version was but anyway I still can't say nothing about the dialogue because the dialogue is not that great really but oh well I suppose I guess I'm just the dialogue if you ever want to talk about the dialogue based on the the English version yeah it's, the dubbing isn't all that good really but again like I said a lot of these movies are hard to find it really is really really hard to find but I guess for his worth uh, as far as I thought this film to be pretty decent, I suppose. I'll say that this movie is... He has his moments overall. He definitely has his moments. Because I like the fighting. And the fighting here was actually quite good. I think my favorite part of the film was probably the... Um, it's probably the ending. The ending fight, I guess. I'm not, I'm not trying to say in a bad way, of course. I just kind of felt that the ending was... The ending fight was really crazy in his own way, of course. So I'll say that... I did like the the overall premise, of course. The overall premise was definitely I probably saw the one from what I can see here, folks. Of course, and yeah, I can't complain about this movie that much because yeah, it's a low budget, of course, and and yes, it's cheaply made. Yeah, this is definitely one of those cheaply made films that came out in the past. But that's the thing, folks. You, you, I'm usually reviewing these type of movies anyway, so whatever, suppose. This film did went on a, a few other titles as well, which, if you ask me, isn't surprising. These types of films often go under different titles anyway, when you think about it. But, I did like the way it was handled in some ways, I guess. But, I guess there's other movies I could review. There's a few other films I would like to review, folks, before I get to my other stuff I guess so I'll say check this one out if you, have, if you haven't yet because I actually liked it the, the fight is pretty crazy of course I did like the main character and uh of course there's plenty of people to beat up of course and I did like the fight scenes the fights were well choreographed and I just wish I could get my hands on the actual real version of this film but again it's gonna be a rather difficult because well, because these types of movies are hard to find. Again, it's a, it's a rather obscured time, of course. But anyway, I would say that if I, I guess if I ever do find the, the actual version of this, I guess I'll buy it for myself, I suppose. But anyway, I can say that the, I did enjoy for this film for its worth, I suppose, because I did like how the edit i mean the, i guess the editing was okay i think editing was okay but again just basing on the the american version the really, uh, editing was pretty choppy but again this, i'm just basing it off of the american version i just wish like i just wish i could find the actual um the actual film and then the actual unedited version but i don't know if that's ever going to happen really yeah but anyway this one is pretty straightforward it's action-packed so, I can't really complain about that really, I guess. But uh, one, other, one other thing I would definitely say is that the, um, this film, of course, yeah, there's, uh, of course, in the, there's, there, there'll be other ways to find this movie, I guess, but one thing I can say that, uh, the 1974 UK cinema version was heavily edited with uh, nearly all the fights including like eye punching uh a stick fight and an uh, arm breaking so this film was actually censored quite often so there's more than one version of this film of course so yeah that can be a thing for it. this film was actually edited because some parts was viewed as too violent which to me is ridiculous but whatever i guess but anyway i guess i should just wrap things up so I would say that this film it gets an overall rating of uh, 6.1 out of 10. It gets a 6.1 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care.